Hi everyone. I know this is a little bit of a different screen than you're used to looking at. It is not the uh, Milwaukee Huskies, but it is rather my uh, Red Wing build that I kind of do in my personal uh, free time you know, when I'm not streaming. Um, after about four years of watching Detroit pretty much just get shit stomped every game, I decided to, uh, and with the Wings getting eliminated, uh, from the playoff contention mathematically officially over the weekend I just figured it'd be a good time to debut my Red Wing franchise and we're just gonna kick the shit out of some teams today um, again I play the AHL games as well as you can see 17 and 0 so uh, I will play the wild the Iowa wild what the fuck's a wild I'm gonna play the plan. Uh, then we'll play the Panthers, and then we'll go against the Chicago Wolves, and then uh, maybe end the night against Cal or Pittsburgh. Um, I might play that other AHO game and the uh, Flames, and end on the Flames game, but uh, only time will tell. I guess it's gonna depend on time. And again, this is a, a personal one that I spend a lot more time with. Uh, it's a lot more detail oriented. Um, the rosters are more, well, a little bit more, uh, better constructed, more thought that goes into them. Uh, these rosters are more like <clears throat> long term and kind of the Huskies is just kind of like um, kind of like win now mode. So that's why, uh, and I play all these games versus him and the other ones. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at my lines, make sure those are all good before we play. And again, I play it on a little bit of an easier setting. I don't play it on Superstar or All-Star. Um, because, like I said, I just want to kick the shit out of teams with Detroit. Uh, when we lose 9-2 to the fucking Coyotes, it's kind of embarrassing to be a Red Wing fan from time to time. But So, uh, don't need that one right now. And again, this Red Wing team was not hard to construct or put together. A lot of the pieces were there with uh, Larkin, Zadina, Valeno, Cider, Edmondson, Raymond. It's just I just need to fill in little pieces here and there. I mean, it even has Fabry, it has a uh, Verana. I mean, Heronic's still on the roster. I signed Tuka Rask. Uh, we got Kosa on the team. Um, so yeah, this is kind of my Red Wing lineup for right now. I drafted Shane Wright. I uh, acquired Cole Caulfield the first year that I traded him to uh, Pittsburgh for the first overall pick. So I ended up drafting Shane Wright. I believe he has franchise potential, so that's really good. Uh, during this upcoming summer, I get to work on his uh, RFA deal, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Not really that deep down the middle or in the back end, but uh, this should actually be Claude Giroux. Yes, Joe Pavelski is scratched on my team. Drew was hurt, so I'm going to make that switch. Uh, I signed Bergeron last summer. I signed Bergeron and Pavelski both last summer, and then I re-signed him last year, and then I uh, gave Drew a one-year deal. I used to have Ryan Suter, but he ended up retiring, so I kind of put a little wrench in my plan because it was supposed to be uh, Edmondson, Suter, and McIsaac, but uh, Suter unexpectedly retired on me, so I had to improvise, and that's why I had to go on Ed, uh, Edmondson. And this is my AHL, which we'll be playing right now. I acquired Schneider. I drafted these two guys, and all these guys were already here. Like I said, not much has to be done with this Red Wing franchise, but but uh, people are like, just shut the fuck up, and I want to see some Red Wing wins for once. Let's get to that. Again, I'm going to play the Grand Rapids game first. So, let's, uh, and against, it's against the Iowa Wild, which is a farm system of the uh, Minnesota Wild. And people that know me know I don't really like anything hockey Minnesota. So, anything related to the Wild, I want to beat this shit out of. So, hopefully, let's uh, trounce the Wild here. Let's play this game. I need to change the setting back from broadcast. So, I need to do that. And again, I drafted all those players that are on my side right there. Uh, Ekman I projected him to be in the NHL at this point in time, but he just hasn't kind of developed. Uh, Bo Hickens was the last uh, later round guy. Uh, Kim Broden is actually hurt, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. 
he's been really good for me of late. So, Carson Lambos, who cares about him? He's, he's for the wild. Who cares? Who cares? You're never going to win a cup in this franchise, buddy. You never are. Accept it and move on. Okay. Uh, can I do the settings right here? Uh, game settings. I'm going to see if I can change the camera view right now, just because I like having it. Uh, when I do the GM one, I like to do the true broadcast to give them more of that feel. This one, I like to do the dramatic low because I like that on ice, above ice view. It's just a little bit easier on my old eyes. So we're going to start the game. I believe Philip Larson is my starting goaltender in this game. Uh, former Denver product. Uh, he was supposed to be one of the better goalies for uh, the Wings in the last couple of years, but COVID. And uh, he just... He played one year with Grand Rapids, and he just he didn't really seem like he fit in very well. So I don't know what the deal is with him. But like I said, that doesn't really matter because I mean we got Sebastian Cosa playing in the dub. So I'm very, very, very okay with Cosa. So here we go. Like I said, I'll actually play these games as well, as well. So it's just fun. Let's beat some wild. The fuck's a wild? Yeah. Come on, Uzi. There we go. And I lose faceoffs all the time, so don't worry about that. Big hit by Snides. Moves it around, moves it up. Oh boy, this is kind of big hit. And then it's hit by Hiroshi. Let's pass it up. What's up, Lambos? You want to get hit already? Tim. Hughes got the puck again. I got Hiroshi on the wing. I'm just going to dump this in. I play a very uh, kind of boring game. Kind of a mid-90s, early 2000s dump and chase kind of trap game. Schneider back door that did not work. This uh, guy that has the puck right now, Trevor Wong, he is just—he's got a hell of a shot. Didn't really show it there, but he—he's got a really nice shot. He's one of those guys that he only has like top nine potential, but I think that might be a little bit higher in top nine. They've had other top nine guys that just absolutely suck. Again, Philip Larson's my goaltender. I'm just going to dump it in, play it safe, dump and chase. I don't want to do that, but it works. Ah, the goalie's left-handed. Left-handed goalies are my kryptonite. I, for whatever reason, I cannot score on them to save my life. So I'll pass to Goldman. Nice shave by the goaltender. And pass it up. So shot. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the uh, hook button, because that, or the trip button, because there's a button that you hook, pressing it literally will trip it no matter what. And I'm just gonna dump it in here. Ah, I got tipped, damn it. Almost done with the first period, and like I said, these games should go pretty quick. Should be looking at a little bit of a quicker stream tonight. <clears throat> Cassie, if you are still watching, is the game play like uh, jittery or jolty or anything? Or is it pretty smooth? Goldman, another one of my draft picks. That was a terrible shot. Hopefully I can clock him. Situation like that just. Aw, oh, man, see that. Nice save by Larson. Wish I could have moved the puck out a little bit. That way the time didn't stop, but it is what it is. Just get to, get to the point, get to the point. 
Okay. Looks like we're going to the first intermission, tied 0 0. Big second period. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't really have high expectations with Ekman. And as you can, uh, as you'll see on my uh, lineups and stuff like that, I don't go by position. Exactly. Uh, I go by what side they shoot because I'm very particular on how my lineup is because I like all my right handed shots on the left hand side. Just because it's easier for them to shoot, they don't have to shoot across their bodies to get shots. And defenseman is just kind of easier to kick the puck up from your skate back to your stick and get a shot off right away. Hey, you're offside, bitch. Nice hit. Move it up, Ekman. So right now Ekman would be slotting behind uh, uh, Raymond and oh I thought that was it right there damn it uh, Ekman would be sliding in behind uh, on the third line probably where uh, Bergy is or where Juru is I should say on that third line damn. see I told you, I cannot score on left-handed goalies for some reason I don't know why I just can't it's annoying. Wallander is actually really good too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It was kind of jolty on my ice cream, so that's why I kind of asked. Not used. Oh god, fuck you. Not used to actually playing the. Games. This is just watching. I'm gonna start scoring some fucking goals. That'll make it look better, eh? I was actually at uh, that Ryan Kuffner's uh, first NHL game because he signed with Detroit. Him and uh, Taro Horosi did out of college. I think they both went to Michigan State, I want to say. And yeah, there it is. Oh, come on. Come on. He's just standing there. Light him up, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Now my bit rate's better. It's a lot better. Well, shit. Plenty of time to tie it here. Elmer Soderbloom. Well, this should make for an interesting third period. That's been the story of my goaltending this year. It's just, I get a little bit of it, but not enough. And then it just slowly trickles back in to the back of the net, or just barely across the goal line. One goal on three shots, that is beautiful. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, no shit. And I just iced it.
I'm telling you, I can't score against left-handed goalies. They are my motherfucking kryptonite. I don't know why. That was a terrible shot. There's like four people in front. Rossi. Not making a change. Hey Hughes, why don't you get some points now, buddy? Yeah, that is Kofner. Okay, figured that was the right Kofner. Fucking stick. It's one. It's going to be a dramatic comeback. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Hamilton. Do, do, do. Please don't let Kofner score. I just got away with the trip. Skate right into that one. Holy shit, that was bad. Like I said before, I don't want to do a line change. Thought that was it right there. Put it in your net. Hey, Diane. How you doing, buddy boy? Okay, hopefully, we win the face off one time we're doing Hiroshi. Didn't win the face off. Has got the puck. I told you, Trevor Wong's clutch. Now, just don't fuck it up for thirteen seconds. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, oh boy. That was definitely a little too close for comfort. But we came out on top, that's all that matters. Still one goal on two shots, or one goal on five shots, it's kind of embarrassing. So was those slow tricklers too. Burger in, yeah, he's pretty good. Told you Trevor Wong, baby. I don't think I think he has more than top nine potential, I'm just saying. So start uh, Mr. Sebastian Kosa for this one just because I feel like he's been playing better of the two of late like I said I did not have to do much with this roster uh, let's go reverse retro because I low-key don't really like the uh, Panthers jerseys now I mean to me that looks like a soccer team's jersey it should be Florida HC. There we go. Let's go with like a little bit more of a classic look. Oh, they got a lot better goaltender than me. Let's do this. Let's go in the line. Don't want to see my starting goalie. I thought it was Rask, but it should be Kosa. Okay, I want Kosa between my pipes. Drew back, or no, I got Drew back already. Okay, let's go. So, this should be a fun game to watch, Cassie. Barkov, okay, Uyghur, let's go. Let's go. Mother of God, 97 and 96. And a lot of that is actually players that are currently on the Wings roster, so. Makes me a little happy knowing that. We are in beautiful. Uh, fun story, uh, my first NHL game was actually in this building in Florida. Uh, it was spring break, my uh, graduation year in high school, 2008. Uh, the Florida Panthers played the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, and the Hurricanes won 2-1 to in the shootout. Why is Rask in my net? I still don't know why Rats was in my net. I thought I put Kosa in. Why the fuck was Rats in my goddamn net? I fucking changed it. Off. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I'm going to nothing. This is fun. I have not gotten. Have I touched the puck at all? So here comes the. Uh... Let's go. That's one. Lucas Raymond. I'm actually going to do something here. Bear with me. It might go a little... It's going to go dark for a second here. Okay, I want to turn on the stupid music, but I mess. Okay, hang on a sec, guys. Fuck. Alright. Back to whole. Wow, there's still a lot of time left here in the first. I gotta start winning face-offs, man. I don't know why I can't win face-offs. Another loss. Tie game. That was a nice lead while they had it. What's up, Shanti? How you doing, man? Dude, fucking Tuka Rask. For I thought I switched it to start the game. So Tuka Rask started and he gave up two goals on two shots. It was awesome. That's interference. February. February. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to trade you. I don't know when, but you're getting traded. Maple Leaf fans are going to come to hear that name quite a bit. Simon Edvinson. It's called a defenseman. I'm good now, Sean. Now that I just took the lead. Sixth overall pick from last year, I believe. You had doubt. Get the puck, it's fine. Uh, this is their Red Wings one. The one that uh, you do a commentary to. I love having a Philip Zadina because I properly use him.
outsider just killed someone. Fuck you, don't hit Larkin. No one hits Larkin. Not even Larkin hits Larkin. Fine, you're not hurt, you're fine. Leave the first line out there. They're fine. They are perfectly fine. <laughs> Hopefully Blast Shield Oh Larkin, you better not be hurt. Hopefully Blast Show's fired way before this point in time. He should have gotten fired a while ago, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, shots not good. Shots are not beautiful. Not beautiful for the shots. Coasters look good since coming in, so that's good. Famous last words for uh, goalies playing well in NHL. I mean, let's be realistic. Blasio should be gone at the end of this season. There's no way you can bring him back. And there's three games that come to mind. The 10-7 game against Toronto. The fucking 92 game against fucking Arizona. And the 11-2 uh, game against Pittsburgh. by Kosa. Oh no, he's he's a good stopgap between uh, Babcock and the guy that's gonna take us to the next kind of dynasty era. But it's not it's not Blasio. He's a stopgap. That's it. And we need to. We're at the point. The Wings are at the point where they're. They need a coach that's going to help them develop because it's, I mean, look at uh, Nyquist, Tatar, I mean, even Zadina, Valeno to an extent. Look at Philip Peronik, Dennis Chalowski. All these guys had a uh, decent potential, but they just weren't, they weren't deployed right or they were healthy scratched or... I have three names, and none of them are currently head coaches in the NHL. Uh, there, there are Card Gromberg that plays over in, or he coaches over in Sweden. Uh, he's really good. I think he coaches for uh, for Forlunda. And then I would love to see. Wow, we're getting absolutely demolished in the faceoff dot. Holy shit! And eleven up. Anyway, uh, Ricard Gromberg. Is a good candidate. Um, I would love to see Sergey Fedorov or uh, Igor Larionov behind the bench because I think those would be two really good fits. Because I mean, Igor Larionov is Igor Larionov. He's a smart man. Killed in the face off dot. That is that's okay. That's okay. February. <laughs> His nickname is uh Lariano's nickname is literally the professor. That's why I would love to see what he could do with uh, uh, behind the bench of a team. 
That's just any team, let alone uh, not only NHL. Before uh, the Rangers hired uh, Gerard Gallant, I really wanted the Red Wings to go after him, but they never did. But I think uh, Gerard probably wants to win now versus in three years, like three, four years, so. Hey, Sean, I asked uh, Cassie, but uh, what's the gameplay like? Is it choppy or anything? I just want to make sure it's okay for everybody. Shots still aren't pretty. But there it is. Fine, good, good, good. Just want to double check. Oh, come on, Larks. Do your thing. Do your thing, Larkin. Do your thing. Larkin doing his thing. Uh, just on my gaming TV, like the TV that I'm gaming on, it's just, it's kind of laggy when I'm, uh, during the actual gameplay. It's not awful or anything. It's just a little laggy, but... So I just want to make sure it was just on my side, not on the actual, like, stream stream. If that makes sense. That guy sounds so depressed saying that. Detroit goal was scored by. Oh, Zadina's in. Brendan Smith is also a name that I forgot, but he was more of a uh, the Blash or the Babcock era of uh, fucked up development. You can probably put both uh, Jimmy Howard and Peter Morazic in that category as well. Oh, Smith got absolutely fucked by Babcock. If you're not going to play him, send him down. He's a 20... What was he? 21-year-old kid out of Wisconsin. If you're not going to play him, send him down. Sean, you know I'm a Mareza guy. I've always hated Jimmy Howard. It was always supposed to be Mrazic's team. And part of that, I will say this, part of that kind of goes on uh, uh, Ken Holland because he promised both goalies that they were going to be the starters. And then when they, when neither goalie was really the starter, both of them started getting pissed off. And Jimmy Howard, I mean, he finished his career 2-20. and There's a reason why when, I don't remember what year it was, it was either 14 or 15, um, that they kind of scared Tampa in the playoffs, and I believe it was uh, when Mirazik came in was when they actually started playing pretty well. So, yeah, I don't, I was never big on Jimmy Howard. Yes, Babcock is very overrated. I just wonder how long it's going to take him to get in the league. Another save by Kosa. Edwin sends a tank. You're not going to stop him. Thank you. With Mike Babcock, it's like, dude, you could, it's like, thanks for the cup. But you could have easily gotten one in 09. Babcock, he'll be back. He'll make his world apology, uh, world apology tour. Hell, NBCSN had him on his coverage before. Detroit, 
We have a we have a Panther down on the ice dead. I repeat, we have Carter Verhage. I don't know who does bring him back, but someone will. I don't know when. Someone brought back Evander Kane. Hey, maybe Toronto will bring Babcock in. Oh, wait, they tried that, didn't work. Joe Villano. Like how I can just kind of sit here and rip on the Red Wings for their... And I will say this publicly, this will be the first time I ever talk shit about Steve Eisman as a GM, but if he does not, if Blasio is the head coach going into next year, that's my first time I'm questioning Eisman as GM. Because he needs to go. It's like that meme where uh, they're in that conference room and then they throw that guy out the window. It's like, what if we don't bring Babcock back? And it's like, look at him, throw him out the window. Quinville will get another job too, I'm sure. Like I uh, have said before when I started the stream, I'm just kind of tired of Detroit getting beat 11-2 to to Pittsburgh, 9-2 to against a college team. Oh, wait, not a college team. They just play in a college building. So I just want to beat the shit out of some teams with my Red Wings. So that's why I'm doing this, because it's fun. And plus, uh, I know... Uh, the media guy in the chat, he understands it's fun to just beat the shit out of teams in franchise mode. Plus, they keep giving me that one timer, so I'm going to take it. What even makes that Coyotes game worse is they didn't even have Phil Kessel. He played 30 seconds. And I don't think they had um, Jordan Smoltz either, and I think a couple other players they didn't have. And they still put up nine. But that was kind of during that stretch where Nadelkovich could not he couldn't catch any. He couldn't catch a beach ball with his glove hand. Or he couldn't stop a beach ball. Because that was the game where Arizona uh, start, or they gave him a shift like 30 seconds. Then he left so he could fly back to uh, Phoenix for the birth of his daughter, I think. And then that way he kept his uh, Iron Man streak intact. Oh, I got around him. Hit the post. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I personally would have fired Blasio after that game, but... Uh, the last time Detroit fired a coach was uh, Dave Lewis, and they just let him go. They didn't renew his contract, so they didn't really fire him. Sebastian Costa did not give up a goal, I'm just saying.
up Zadina. It's been a long time since they fired one mid-season. I think the last one that they, uh... Because I know Dave Lewis, he was only there for like two years. And then I think his contract expired, and then they're just like, we're just not going to hire you. And then that's when they uh, hired Babcock, and then his contract just expired, and then they hired Blashill. So, I'm just going to point this out. I believe Sebastian Cosa had 11 shots, and that was 11 saves for Mr. Cosa. Because Rask started the game, and he gave up two goals on his first two shots. I can look it up when I'm done. I know they have, I know they have, but I don't think it's been. I think the last time they did it was probably like the '70s because they had Bowman forever, then they had Babcock forever. I'm trying to think who was their coach before Babcock. I can picture his face. I just can't remember his name from uh, the Russian or during the Russian Five. I always forgot Brian Murray was your coach. Before that, it was Jock Demers. Just tell me if they've if they've fired anybody. Dave Lewis was your head coach twice. What does that little hashtag mean? I really wish they would fire Babcock or Blasio so damn bad. Okay, we are going to go play the Chicago Wolves real quick and then we will play the Pittsburgh Penguins. So we're going to send them up to this day. Uh, I just need to see which team is better here, the Wolves. Or the Admirals. Let's just do this. Forget. I believe it was the Chicago Wolves and the Admirals. And I'm looking at so the Wolves are third. Okay. I always gotta check that so I can determine what uh, goalies I want to start for what game. But the way that Larson's been playing lately, I don't know if I want to start him for this game because he's been kind of leaky lately. And the other guy I got is actually pretty good. Or he's been on a little bit of a heater of late. Hey, Sean, if you're still there, I got to show you something. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, I believe Dave Lewis was an assistant under uh, Bowman. And then that was, I want to say, it was obviously the Anaheim year where Anaheim knocked him out in the first round, swept him after they won the cup, after Bowman retired. And then, okay, got to run about five minutes. It's, it'll, this will take real quick, real quick. I want you to see my uh, backup goalie stats for the AHO. This is my backup goalie. He is 7-0 with 6 shutouts, 975 save percentage, .14 goals against average, and he's given up a grand total of one goal. I 
I think I'm going to start him. Yeah. We're going to start him on the first half of a back-to-back. -back. That's all I wanted to show you. Right? He's one of those guys I drafted, and it was like, ooh, elite potential, and it's like, eh, starter, who cares? And just to let everyone know that uh, the head coach of my Grand Rapids team is no other than Madison native Ryan Suter. Yeah, I know I saw that too. But uh, Larson didn't play very well last game, so it might he's going to have to play a little bit more than uh, one minute. Kidder. Wow, I'm gearing up for a long road trip here. My, uh, I've told you that my plan for Suter is I'm gonna eventually promote him to my head coach in my NHL team. We might not have gotten him as a free agent, but by golly, we'll get him as a head coach. Yeah, right there, Mr. Ryan Suter. Undefeated in his coaching career. That is one of the low-key things I do like about this game. Like, former players, like, retire and turn into coaches and scouts. Which I think that's a low-key cool aspect of the game. Makes it a little more interesting. Because I believe my scouts, I have... I got Jack Scaly, Brian Boyle, and... I thought I had Jay Beagle as a scout as well. But I might have fired him. I thought he had Jay Beagle. Skilly. Huh. Oh well. I must have fired Jay Beagle. I'm just waiting for my Huskies franchise. I'm just waiting for uh, when Crosby retires to see if he's on like a coaching staff or anything because it'd be kind of cool to get him on my staff. But, so we're going to go play Chicago here. Then, to be honest, I'll probably call it a stream after the Penguins game. Kind of keep it short and sweet tonight. So, uh, do to these these two games and take care of any other business that I have to and we can uh, go from there but I gotta take care of one little book work thing here on my end nope 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 okay we gotta go here so I keep track of injuries I know cuz I'm weird like that so uh, he got hurt at Washington so that is, he came back, so he missed one game. Okay. It really does suck that my, one of my top defensive prospects is done for about two months. Actually, he's only going to miss about a month, so that's good. Okay, so... I know, I'll get back to the games in one split second here. So, 20 seconds. So, 11, 22. It's 23. Okay. Jose, drive safe, man. Let's go beat the wolves and then let's go beat the penguins. Okay, I'm gonna wear my white jerseys just because I really, really like Chicago Wolves third jerseys. I actually really like that as a jersey, so we're gonna go with that. This one might actually be a little bit of a toss up. They are a lot better than me. 
So this one could be close again, folks. I'm gonna edit my lines, edit my goldies here. I know an outlier said I'm gonna put Chang in. This is going to be interesting here. Here we go, everybody. Okay, and here we go. Hopefully, it's a little better than the last one here. Or the last AHL game I played, because that one was really close. Try to shield a little too much. I think the Penguins game is a home game too, so that'll be real fun. Get that LCA crowd going. Let's hit by Schneids. No, oh, I want to pass it to Hiroshi. Okay, that works. Yes! Again, honestly, Ekman, he's playing for a spot next year. Because I'm probably not going to bring back Giroux, Bergeron, or Pavelski, so... I'm going to have an opening. A couple openings. Probably between him, Niederbach, and uh, Wong, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm too early on that. Lost the face off, it's fine. Uh, William Wallander. Nice pop. I think it moves it over. Like I said, that Wong kid is actually really good for me. Which is kind of weird because I have a Wang and a Wong on the team. And for whatever reason, I decided to give them numbers 10 and 12. So that's not going to be confusing at all. Kitty, kitty. Oh, it's weird. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, crap. crap, crap, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I gotta pet the kitty. Okay. Ah, should have shot it. Offsides can't do that. Cheaters. Quite Goldman at the blue line. Sorry.
Ekman. Two. That's two. It's two for Mr. Ekman. Oh, your blanket? Here. No, no, no. Sit down. Sit down. Here, I'll do this. There you go. Okay. Do nothing lead before we take uh, before we go to the end of the first period here. I suck at faceoffs. Braden Schneider. Jojo's was left handed goalies, man. They So unfortunately my goalie is at four hundred and I wanna say thirty nine minutes of ice time. So unfortunately, we did not get him to a 420. Very disappointed. Oh! For a split second, I thought that went in. One time I go back to the corner, doesn't work, shouldn't have done that. Good save, good save, good save. Really, Jordan Martin, uh, two years from now, is going to be in the AHO. That's interesting. I don't want to swallow it. You shouldn't swallow pucks. At oh, Trevor Wong, here we go. That's a goal. I love this kid. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Office oh, fans will get that uh, reference. Say Avon Barbashev. That's disappointing. What I mean, I'm pretty sure this Grand Rapids team that I have, I'm pretty sure they're all my draft picks, so they're probably all under the age of 20. Other than maybe Hughes and uh, kind of Bayrooter, and a couple other uh, um, plugs that I have. They're just kind of people I keep around as for healthy scratches and injuries. I mean, he's a 955 on the season. I can't be mad. That's the second goal he's given up all year. Save, buddy. Another nice save. Getting too comfortable. Getting way too comfortable. And I 
cannot win a goddamn face off. Cameron here is former Badger. Thank you, sir. I actually have a selfie with that guy somewhere. I just killed Seth Jarvis. Should be the Hattie for Ekman. Like I said, I just got a little bit too comfortable there. Uh, I kind of let my foot off the accelerator, let it off the gas. And can't do that. Especially against a team like Chicago. Wolves are pretty good. And they're decent, I should say. I think that's five assists for Wallander. This Nielsen's actually pretty good on my team as well. I have kind of have high hopes for him. High hopes because I don't. I mean, I don't really need him to pan out because I got sides and uh, heronic on that side for right now. But it is good to. That's a fucking motherfucker. But it's nice to know I have him in the uh, man, or the miners. Trevor Wong, man, I'm telling you. I don't know who he is, but beautiful, like beautiful pass from Wong, Wang, Wong, whatever. I think it's uh, Trevor and Hector are their first names, Wang and Wong. So probably just uses their first names from now on. Get through this period with no injuries. That's all I'm asking. Wander was never going to win that foot race. Try to just feather one in, but no luck. Nice save. 
I should have won the battle or the race. Nice job, Sabrango. Eight fifty six left. No one cares about the Chicago Wolves schedule. Nice save. Team that really have to do much. Oh. Let me see if I can wheel this guy. Oh, pass over. Ah, oh, damn it. Glove save. I'm just trying to keep the clock running. Keep that clock running, get it. Take it down to zero. As soon as I attempted that pass, it's like, yep, yeah, that's gonna be offsides. Let's save. He fought that one off pretty good. He was, oh, I got space, I got space, I got space, I got space. Do not have the talent to do anything special on that one. But it's fine. It's fine. No Get through the next minute, 48. No injuries, hopefully. I was going to say, you play that puck. Uh, Braden Schneider was a trade deadline acquisition about two years ago. And the year before that was uh, Evan Bouchard. I have a thing for a right-handed shot defenseman. Oh, I should have shot that with Hiroshi. You know what? Just because I want to kill this clock. I'm going to go like this. Do a nice little dumping. Nope. I'll be a dick and get one more. Why not? Because remember, folks, this is my Red Wing revenge tour for the last four years. And I know a lot of older people are going to be like, but you don't remember the 90s where Detroit was running over? I do. But a lot of people don't. Especially younger kids. So this is my revenge tour. God, it's okay. We lost Arizona 92. That's... That was the that was the only day I've ever really kind of been embarrassed to be a Wings fan, but What are you going to do? Just have bad games, I guess. Fire Blash Hill. Again, uh, Ryan Suter is my AHL head coach.
I can't believe I got outshot by four and I won by five. Okay, we're gonna finish game. Uh, I'm gonna play the penguins and then uh, that'll probably be it for the night for me. Um, depending on how that game goes, I might want to play one, a couple more. If it goes bad, like real bad, I might want to play a couple more. You can't end the night on a bad game. You just can't. Especially to the Penguins. You can't do that. You cannot do that. But I'm gonna take this moment to uh, run to the bathroom quickly. So I will be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, sorry about that guys, I had to feed my cats, we are starting to get a, well, I'll be honest with you, a couple of them almost tripped me on my way to the bathroom, so if they're not telling me to feed them or will kill you, I don't know what is, so I had to uh, give it another man, so that's why it took me a little bit longer, but like I said, we're going to play the penguins here real quick, uh, call it a stream after that. Short and sweet tonight. Like I said, oh, I won't stream every single game of this Red Wings franchise because it's kind of like my personal one. Hey, Klingberg, I offered you a contract in the offseason and you rejected it. Dick. Um, so do that. I really like Pittsburgh's reverse retros. Definitely not starting Rask. We're gonna go Kosa again.
this game could get ugly real quick because their goalies do not look that good. Watch them beat me, or watch them be, uh, get out to the first couple goals like uh, Florida did. I think just for this one, so that way I don't feel like I have to talk the entire time, I am gonna put the, uh, uh, play, I'm gonna put the play, that's my automatic feeder guys, sorry about that, I'm gonna put the, uh, play by play on actually here, if I can, volume, arena, so arena music has to be off, so let's bump up the commentary volume here. Just so that way we can. That way I don't feel. I don't feel like I'm not paying attention or not being entertaining to the people. If that makes Centers sense. are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Penguins start with possession as we are now oh no. underway. This is looking like Florida. To the low slot. Comes Close the up with the save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Breakaway! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets... Uh, I'm going to turn down the commentary a little bit. It's a little too loud in my ear. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. It's caught from behind. There we go. This back. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Sends a pass over. Turns it away. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances right, that close. The goalie turns it aside. Look at the sides. Here's a blast. Kemper's going to cover it up really and get a whistle. Kemper, eh? Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still lots of time left in the period. Well, everyone We're still scoreless. To. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Slides it on over to Kivaranta. The Penguins take it along the wall. From the point, looks to make something happen. From the blue line, they take control of it. And now he tries to get it across to Marino. Takes the pass. Here's a chance right in the slot. Denied by the puck stopper. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Detroit's coaches are happy with the way that they've played in the early portion of the year, combining some good defensive play with some timely offense. Taken along the wall by Verona. The Red Wings have it now. Puck scooped up by Verona. Can't connect on the pass. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed. Moves it to Strom. Takes the feed at the back end. Denied by the goaltender. Goalies are always trying to get better at this. Making the save, but getting the rebound into the corner. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, great glove save by Kemper. You always got to take that in shot. Front, you know? And a stoppage right. on the play as the goaltender the covers things up. Crosby's no yeah, it's still too loud. The uh, commentator is still way too loud in my ear. Setting. I don't know why every time I always want to move the screen over. Let's go audio visual. So volume settings. Let's go commentary. Let's put that to about five. There we go. We'll go with that. So that way it's there, but it's not overbearing because when I talk and it's I feel like I'm competing. Really backhand zone ability, guys. He's got great control and accuracy with that shot. Cider's known for his truculent zone ability, guys. He uses big hard hits to wear down the opposition. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long. And let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Victory. 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 Victory.
Tim, talk to my good one. Lucas Raymond, 30 Raymond's points. Raymond's tape-to-tape zone ability means he can complete those firm, crisp passes. I don't know why I cannot win a face-off to save my life. I don't know if I want a face-off all stream. I really don't. I don't think I have. I'm perfectly honest. He wasn't just going to rub somebody out of the plate. He's known for this. If he's got an opportunity to blow somebody up, he's going to do it. That was a big hit. What a I will be 100% honest, when the Red Wings picked Cider, I was really pissed. Just because of how much talent was left on the board, but... It took me... I'm with other Red Wings fans, probably about... Two months to realize that we were... Very, very wrong about him. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both and he teams just kept getting better and better and better. Sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Hey, fans, time for our parachute drop. It's a nice shot. If you want to join our insiders club here tonight, you can get exclusive media only access to upcoming press conferences. Exclusive media only access. Tour. Membership is free. So what are you waiting for? Let's pump, let's pump in some more here, shall we? For period number two, about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Great hit by Edmondson. Great, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Penguins probably a little bit unlucky in that initial break. Just did. They controlled most of the possession, but they trailed by a goal. The I just shot the puck at Sam Edmondson. Season, when you look at the very best teams in the league, they sit at the very top. A testament to how well they played this year. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 1-0 the score. Through the middle of the ice, they have the attacking zone. Quick pass to Marino. And now he angles it across to Gensel. Taken by Crosby. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Saved by Kosa. So it's a replica that, uh, of a souvenir puck. Souvenir puck night certainly played a part in adding just a little more energy to the rink here this evening. Face I'm put the the oh, there we go. I should have hit him with the pass right away. And they'll dump it in. Here's an offensive chance. And now it's grabbed by Kemper. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he Try to hit the run on the far post, but Move that the didn't work. Well, you know, I won't complain. More than half the period left to play. One nothing is where we sit at this point. The Penguins win the draw. I cannot win faceoffs. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Like if this was a drinking thing, that would definitely be one of the only time I. Every time I lost a faceoff, took a shot. He'd be hammered by the end of the first period. Scoops up the puck now. Pushes it across to Verona. Thank you. 
got a hold of the puck now. Along the half wall with the puck. Trying to get to the birdie. Hangs on to the puck. How did I not take a penalty in that play? I like it though. Nice pass. Quick shot. What a save by Kemper. Ray, you look at another sellout here tonight. It's starting to become one of the better fan bases in the league. What's well, fun in here? I mean, it's loud. Started to be one of the better fan bases. Do you not remember the 90s, you dumb fuck? I think they've done a great job here. Right, there it is. The third That's period. One period nothing. Number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. So I go here, from Cider. He's the only one, or not Cider, but Heronic, rather. This guy played good. I played good. Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. Tell Marino just like hitting his hurt teammate like right in the face with the skate, just like. And the whole team's gonna build a little bit. They believe after a fight win. Listen to this place. Hopefully Jared McIsaac can actually be uh, useful for the end of this season for Grand Rapids the next season. He's had a lot of injury problems in his career. The juniors and such. That's a game. Right, where's the other call on them? Time for the official to pass down his sentence. That's an easy one, James. That's a trip every time. First of all, it should be even even in this up. It's fine. This team is aware that their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down. Trying to clear, and he gets the job done. Big thumbs up, clearing that one. 
The Red Wings have protected the house tonight in front of the goal center extremely well. I love the way they play. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Motion to Gibson. Here's a shot. Makes the glove stop. There's the whistle as like the puck, puck stopper Gibson. likes to hang on. Philadelphia's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's Sainer. next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the power. Kosa's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. And he covers up the puck to get a whistle. Well, that's about time, and well needed. The defenders are on fumes. Another face-off looming here on this power play. I need to start winning face-offs. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Detroit stopped the puck shorthanded. Quick feed to Bergeron. Takes a hit on the play. Takes the pass. The Penguins move to the offensive zone. Collision. That's one player delivering a solid body check to another. He's no for this. If you have Are you down, fucking kidding me? Luck out. This has been a pretty tough shift for him. Banged up. I just got hurt with Patrice Bergeron for killing Cole Caulfield. I threw a hit on Cole Caulfield with Patrice Bergeron. It was so hard that Bergeron got hurt. to the bench. Hopefully they get the door open and he can get in and get some help from the trainer. Okay. And they clear the puck. The Red Wings ready to go on the attack. I am just going to take the puck and just kind of skate over space here. Inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside the road. Nice. Hands the zone. Puck grabbed by Edmondson. Brown is up and ready to join the play. Gets the puck in deep. Time's and up we killed it. Good teams. job, boys. Wow, that seems like a big miss, James. Critical moment in the game, and the power play laid flat for them. I'm actually going to see if I can bring up that uh, the Bergeron hit. I know it's a lot delayed reaction, but let's just see if I can isolate it here. No, is Caulfield on this? I'm just going to isolate Caulfield. It might, it might, it might, it might. Yeah, it's this play. It's this play right here. Caulfield gets it. Then we switch to Bergeron. Bergeron comes in. Kills him. And he hits him so hard that he gets hurt. I like how they show the replay right after I show it. Oh, uh, that's funny. Oh, he's still on the bench. Again, uh, I don't play hurt players during the regular season. I did that in one of my other franchises, and he got hurt worse. So that's why I don't do that anymore. So. If it says they're going to be out until the 21st, they're not coming back to 17th. But it, if it was the playoffs, they would be back. But it's happened before. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. Kemper's 
36.6 left. They still can't get Kemper out, which is good. Here in the late goings of the period, Detroit's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Man, first time I've gotten that play all night. And I fucking botch it. Crosby just got hit again. Who cares? So that's why I didn't really in the meantime, want that on my book. So that's why I went after uh, Tuka Rask, thinking that he could be my starting goalie. Because this was supposed to be... I signed Rask to a two-year contract because I wanted him to kind of be the starter this year. And then kind of have Kosa play like here and there to get uh, game time and experience. But it's, it's kind of starting to go the way I wanted it to, which is... Kind of good. Sebastian Kosa, that a boy. He looks high as fuck in that picture, everybody. Holy crap. I can't get over how high he looks in his picture. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, I mean, he plays in Edmonton. For, uh... I think he plays in the WHL, so... It's legal there. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna see if Bergeron is hurt. Uh, if he is, even if he's not, or even if he is hurt and playable, I'm still gonna keep him out of the lineup. Um, okay, it says Bergeron is injured. Let's just see how bad it is. It looks like it's playable, but. Like I said, I don't really take chances with that, uh, with my Cougars franchise. Yeah, he. I mean, it's not like he's gonna lose his spot. And it's not like I lose very much uh, taking him out of the lineup because they just fill him in with uh, Joe Pavelski. So, it's not a real big loss. I mean, it is a big loss because I love Bergeron. That's why I signed him, obviously, but. Cole Caulfield so hard that he hurt his wrist. That is for his pit. And he is scheduled to come back 1127. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought, but I'm still taking Berger on out of lineup. I mean, I kind of need him for his uh, shooting skills, and I mean, you need your wrist to do that. Okay, so let me just go back here. I just want to see something here. I mean, his deacon's minus five, his wrist shot accuracy is minus four, his passing is minus three, his face up's minus two, his wrist shot power is minus seven, his puck control is minus five. It's like, no. Get healthy. There's no reason for you to play. Absolutely no reason. 
Give me a sec here. I need to turn. Shut out Pittsburgh. That's probably a good way to end it. Fortunately, Bergeron got hurt, but it's not going to be long. It looks like he's only going to miss about a game against Calgary, so uh, I'm going to go edit that. So I got to put Pavs in. I just, I just don't like playing hurt players. It's it defeats the purpose of them. But if it was the uh, Red Wing, or if it was the uh, Huskies franchise, he would probably be playing. I got a few too. He just says a Red Wing, huh? So Pavelski slides in there with that line with uh, Frederick and Nemestikov. My age, okay, that's major road. I'm actually gonna edit one more thing here real quick. Just because I like to do it, so now I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna start Larson next game. What is his gauge okay, backup? Which is good. I mean, I got close. Though. So these two can battle it out. Um, I think I'm good. So yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, this is kind of my uh, Red Wings revenge tour that I have going on. Like I said, I won't stream these all the time. Just figured it'd be a, kind of fun for a little bit of a break today. Um, so the next time you see this franchise, I, it probably won't be for the game at Milwaukee or any of those games. So uh, I plan on being back um, Wednesday. I'm going to do uh, Be a Pro. I'm trying a new uh, thing that's called uh, Be a Pro, living vicariously through my kids uh, and me and my wife are going to make uh, replicate our son in the video game so you guys can watch that don't worry it's not gonna be anything it's just gonna be more NHL action um, thanks for stopping by and go Red Wings